diagonal relationship is nothing but the relationship shown by the elements that are diagonally related belonging to second period and third period elements up to fourth group are is said to be diagonal relationship for example if we consider second period first element is lithium then we have beryllium boron third period first element is sodium second element magnesium third element is aluminium fourth element is silicon so the element that is diagonally placed to lithium is magnesium element diagonally placed to beryllium is aluminium boron is silicon so these elements which are diagonally placed from second and third period which lasts up to fourth group is said to be diagonal relationship that means these set of pair of element elements will show certain similarity in their behavior which deviates from the behavior of the rest of the members now in this video let us see about the diagonal relationship of lithium and magnesium so the very first difference or the relationship that you can see is both are hard metals and both are ductile while the rest of the members of the family they are soft metals these are comparatively hard metals and ductile metals and lithium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide are weak bases as we have discussed earlier these are weak bases because of their high electronegativity and high ionization energy because of the high electronegativity high ionization energy we can observe the weak basic nature in lithium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide the next similarity that we can see is both the nitrates lithium nitrate and magnesium nitrate upon heating decomposes into lithium oxide and magnesium oxide lithium oxide and magnesium oxide plus no2 plus o2 this is deviating from their own members of the family and both n2 both reacts with the n2 directly to form the nitride form that is li3n and mg3n2 lithium and magnesium can directly react with atmospheric nitrogen to turn into nitride form that is li3n and mg3n2 this similarity in the lithium and magnesium is observed though they belong to different groups is because of their similar atomic radius because of their similar atomic radius similar ionic radius and similar electronegativity these are the three main factors which are resulting in the similarity between lithium and magnesium and because of the high electronegativity small sizes both the compounds are predominantly covalent in covalent in nature though they belong to 1a and 2a 1a and 2a elements are completely metals highly reactive metals but these two members predominantly they are covalent in nature because of the small size and high electronegativity these are the similarities that we observe between lithium and magnesium due to diagonal relationship between them 